There has been debates in China, particularly among the scientific community, about who should win, specifically this time the Nobel Prize. Some say she definitely deserved it. Others say this has been a joint project of quite a number of scientists over the years and why she is the one eventually getting it. Of course, she's very humble. She say this is joint work. But what do you make of her individually getting this prize? For quite a few years, I have a colleague and a graduate student. The three of us were taking on the case of Tu Yu and her research as a case of history of science. We did research into it. And it was clear to us, after we listened to everyone involved, different sides of stories, seen documents and files and materials, it's clear she is by far the most outstanding of that entire group who contributed to the discovery of artemisinin. What kind of evidence that you and your colleagues had found out over the years that could really support the idea she was the pillar of this research and she definitely deserved this credit? It was a large project involving different people from the civilian and military sides of China mm -hmm. and trying to discover different therapies and preventions. And in treatments, it was not only search for drugs, they were trying to search for ways and means to control mosquitoes, which carries the, the malaria parasite. And so lots of things were put in, and many went to dead ends, and many went to failures. And Ms. Tu Yu Yu, she was in her 30s when they started. She was leading a very small group of a few people. They started collaborating with other groups. They started uh, to work on their mm -hmm. own. And people were looking for different plants, minerals, or animal derivatives, anything you can try to treat malaria. Yu Ya Gang and Gu Guomin came out with a list that they then tested, and they found some herbs have effects on malaria parasite. But they were pulled away because they need to join a different large project. Mm -hmm. So they left the malaria project. And to look at the list left by Gu and the Yu. And among that list, she went to further check, double check, which ones might have an effect. Mm -hmm. And then she came up with a newer, smaller list, which includes the herb we are talking about. Mm. And furthermore, once she see the effect, she tries to extract the molecule from the herb, sweet warm, wood. sweet warm wood. And she tried different ways, use water, ethanol to extract, and those were not very good. The extracts have effect, mm -hmm. but it's not that high. She then changed to ether. Once she used the ether, the extract she got, every one of those preparations was effective on the animal model of malaria. What she got was 100% success rate. So once she got that result, that was the Eureka moment. And others tried to replicate it, and they could all replicate it. She then, once having the extract, went on to purify the molecule, the effective molecule from the herb. So her people, people working with her, again, just two or three other people working with her, were successful in purifying the molecule, the single chemical that they named artemisinin. Mm. And that turns out also to be effective. So they started with a list of herbs passed on by others. They went on to decide that herb was effective and then purified from that herb, which have tens of thousands of molecules, a single molecule that was effective in treating malaria. And that molecule they've determined is chemical formula, so they know how many carbons, how many oxygens and hydrogens in that molecule. So that was the key, discovering the effective herb mm -hmm. and purifying the molecule and getting the chemical formula. That's the key. I see. And then they, are, they have also have different people trying to use that chemical that she has purified to treat not animal models, but treat humans. She was involved, and other people in Guangdong and Hainan were involved. 
And once they got the molecule to be e proven effective in humans, then chemists came up. They wanted to determine what's the exact structure. Yes. And that took a few groups. And when the structure was solved, the structure chemically was beautiful. They have a, what was a benzene ring, but on that ring, there's a bridge formed by two oxygens. So chemically, that became a classic case that needs to be taught in chemistry for how cute the molecule is.